Eskom have adopted the modern equivalent asset valuation technique. This is a very subjective approach. Um, to our knowledge, it, it's been used in Australia, mainly in the instance when privatized assets were, were sold at extremely generous values, and it was a way of almost justifying the tariffs um, to compensate for overpayment. <coughs> but you look across Europe, you look across the US, the standard for replacement costs is indexed historical costs. It's not MEA. On an indexed historical cost basis, um, those assets are valued far lower than what Eskom has put in its application. And the difference then in terms of depreciation charges and the like is about 10 cents on the tariff. The other big item is the return, the WAC. Now, if we look at index historic cost for the asset base of Eskom, the real WAC that they're putting through in this application is more like 12.5%, of the 10.3%, uh, which they've applied to an inflated asset base. Looking at 100-year returns on equity, looking at the cost of actual cost of escrow debt, we believe at 8%, which is a high end again, taking behind of a range of, of um, equity risk premiums and their debt, 8% is feasible. And we see that's, that's certainly comparable to the last NYPD where NERSA put through about a 7.3%. 10.3 is just not justifiable, and certainly 12.5 on a on an index historic cost is not justifiable. 